Saint Scholastica, patron saint of Benedictine nuns, education, convulsive children, and those seeking protection against violent storm. Saint Scholastica, sister of Saint Benedict of Nursia, consecrated her life to God from her earliest youth. Born in 480 of wealthy parents, Scholastica and Benedict were brought up together until he left central Italy for Rome to continue his studies. A young Roman woman of Scholastica's class and time would likely have remained in her father's house until marriage or entry into consecrated life. After her brother went to Monte Cassino, where he established his famous monastery, she took up her abode in Plumberiola, where she founded and governed a monastery of nuns about five miles from that of St. Benedict. She visited her brother once a year, and as she was not allowed to enter his monastery, he went in company with some of his brethren to meet her at a house some distance away. These visits were spent in worshipping together or discussing sacred texts and issues. According to the dialogues of St. Gregory the Great, on one occasion, they had passed the time as usual in prayer and pious conversation. In the evening, they sat down after supper to take their reflection. St. Scholastica, perhaps sensing that the time of her death was drawing near, begged her brother to remain until the next day. Saint Benedict refused, not wishing to break his own rule, and insisting that he needed to return to his monastery. At that point, Scholastica had recourse to prayer, and after a moment, a furious thunderstorm burst so that neither St. Benedict nor any of his companions could return home. Benedict asked, What have you done? To which she replied, I asked you and you would not listen. So I asked my God and he did listen. So now go off if you can. Leave me and return to your monastery. Benedict ended up staying and spent the night in spiritual conferences. Three days later, Saint Scholastica died, and her holy brother beheld her soul in a vision as it ascended into heaven in the form of a shining dove. He sent his brethren to bring her body to his monastery and laid it in the tomb he had prepared for himself.